Good morning, Kaufman. Today is February 26, 2020. I'm Lydia. And I'm Andy, and you're watching Kaufman Live. It's time for the moment you've been waiting for. So guys, um, I'm, I'm on the desk sometimes, but Andy, you know, this is a rare occasion. This week he's on the desk. He doesn't come up here a lot. Um, and a lot of you guys don't know a lot about him, and obviously he doesn't want to share a lot while we banter or do anything during the show. So we're, Andy is in the band, so we're going to ask him some band trivia. Um, okay, first question. What's the difference between a um, bass clef and a treble clef? Um, so they just... It's just, it's just different, man. It's, it's yeah. just different. Okay. All right. Well, we'll come back with another question after this. Um, yeah, so s tune in after the show. <laughs> Join the 2020 census team. If you're 18 years or older with a U.S. citizen with a valid social, se social security number, you can apply. Temporary census positions offer the perfect opportunity to earn extra money while helping your community and pay between 20 to 24 dollars per hour. For more information to apply online, go to 2020census.gov slash jobs or text 20 jobs2020 to 313131. Hello seniors, just a reminder that local scholarships are due Monday. Get started on your applications this weekend. Do not forget to order your transcripts. You have to apply to win a scholarship. Kaufman Drama is always working on something and putting in so much time, effort, and energy. DCTV's Robert and Jack sat down to see what the latest theater production is. Recently, the Theater 3 class has put on their play, The Other Room, at Otterbein University. We sat down with Hayden Gray to go over his character in the play. Uh, my character's name is Talbot. He then gives us a brief synopsis of the play. It's basically about this autistic boy named Austin, and we see inside his mind, almost, like this. There's four characters off to the side who are kind of his so-called thoughts, and Austin ends up meeting this girl named Lily, and the two kind of form a connection. We then asked him what it was like to travel to these other schools to perform the other room. You get a bit of a different atmosphere than if you were doing a performance at Kaufman because you're not familiar with the stage, but you end up just kind of forgetting about where you are and just enthrall yourself into the performance. He then tells us the challenging aspects that came with taking the show on the road. Well, one of the biggest challenges is that we have kind of a big, a big-ish set. We have like three giant pieces of a set that we have to travel on a bus and get into a school. So that can be a little bit of a, a struggle here and then. Lastly, we asked him how this experience has helped him grow as an actor. Work in different environments. Up until now, I've kind of just done the same locations over and over again. But it's always nice to get like a new environment with new people who don't know who you are and yeah for dc tv this is robert signing off welcome to attend a u.s navy representative chief condon will be available for questions on tuesday march 3rd in the cafeteria during lunch all branches of the military visit coffin on the second tuesday of every month this month they will be visiting on march 10th stop by their tables and welcome them to coffin Seniors, you need to know how to find the local scholarship package and application on Naviance. Go to DublinKaufman.com and find Naviance under Student Resources. If you have additional questions, see your guidance counselor today. It's almost March, and that means prom is just around the corner. DCTV's Audrey and Lydia have some important announcements about prom to share with you. Hello, my name is Audrey Wilkins, and Liddy and I sat down with the junior class presidents to figure out more about prom this year. Um, prom is Saturday, April 4th. Yeah, so prom's earlier. It's um, the only date that we were really able to get the venue for, um, and we didn't want it to run into AP testing and stuff like that. So. The theme for prom is the Roaring Twenties. Prom is going to be at Bridgewater, the same place it's always been at. Uh, yeah, tickets this year will be $30. Ticket sales are going to be April 1st through the 3rd at lunch. We're also selling uh, the, the second after school for anybody that's at Emerald Campus. All right, and then this year we're going to uh, continue the tradition of doing uh, free tickets for the best asks. So uh, 
take a video or a picture or whatever of your ask and tweet it out and tag us at uh, Dublin Coffin uh, Student Council and we will pick the best act and um, those people will get free tickets. We hope to see everyone at prom this year. Have a great rest of your day. I'm Audrey Wilkins from DCTV. Now over to Audrey with sports. <laughs> it's Jerome Week here at Coffin and we need support from all Rowdy Rocks. Tonight, girls basketball travels to Marysville at 7 p.m. to take on Dublin Jerome for the Central District se Semifinal. Good luck, ladies. The boys basketball team hosts Jerome on Friday at Rock Arena at 7 p.m. Come support the boys at the Central District Sectional Final. There is no guarantee tickets will be available on Friday, so get your pre-sale tickets today. The online tickets are available for pre-sale today starting at 11.30. $5 per ticket will only be available in the Rock Shop today, tomorrow, and Friday from 11.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. That's all we have for sports. Now back to the desk. Well, we're back, and um, like I promised, I have more questions for Andy. No. Um, <laughs> Andy, do you have a favorite composer? I do have a favorite composer. Okay. I don't know his name. Yeah, what's his name? Frank Tekeli. Oh. Why would you make something that? Well, you, you would know. No. All right. Well, before we go, if you're exploring career options, there's the speaker series tonight at Emerald Campus at 7 p.m. So here's Miss Benny with more information. Dublin City Schools knows that young people need ways to learn about the world around them to discover their passion and purpose. We're proud to announce the next installation in the Dublin Works Career Speaker Series. It will take place on February 26th at Emerald Campus at 7 p.m. The focus for the evening is on information technology, arts, communication, and music. On the evening of February 26th, you will be able to choose from four different panels, including information technology, audiovisual communications, and arts and music. The IT panels include topics such as cybersecurity, data analytics, software, and more. The audiovisual communications panel will include public relations, broadcast engineering, and esports. The arts and music panel will include musical performance, art therapy, and maker technology. This event is for students of all ages and their families. We hope to see you on February 26th at 7 p.m. to learn more about careers in the arts, IT, and communication.